What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three exercises to strengthen the serratus anterior muscle, which is a muscle that attaches to our shoulder blade and then runs around to our ribs. This is a muscle that helps control the shoulder blade and when it's weak or the nerve that goes to it is compromised, we hear of an issue called scapular winging where the inside border of the shoulder blade pops off of the rib cage. So if you've got issues with scapular control, control of your shoulder blade, scapular winging, or serratus anterior muscle weakness, stay tuned for today's video. So when looking to strengthen and activate serratus anterior, this can be a pretty tricky movement for people to learn. Basically, serratus anterior is involved in protracting our shoulder blades, which means if you have your arms out straight, serratus anterior is going to make your shoulder blades slide forward around your rib cage. So we're essentially going to do exercises where we learn to move our shoulder blades without moving our spine, without bending our elbows. So you really are just trying to focus on shoulder blade movement on your rib cage, especially protraction. So our first exercise is going to be the easiest to start out and then they'll get harder as you go along. So just pick the one that fits your current capacity and strength level and motor control and work on it there. So this first one is going to be an open chain drill, which basically means my hands won't be fixed to the ground. I'm going to use dumbbells and do what's called a serratus punch. So I'm going to lay back with my arms out straight in front of my shoulders and my elbows straight. And then like I did a second ago, I'm going to protract. So it's sort of like I'm doing a punch with both arms. You can just do one arm at a time if you've just got one side. If it's just my right arm, I can just work on my punch here. But basically my elbow stays straight. I'm not doing like a bench press or anything like that. I'm just keeping my elbow straight, punching up, and then letting my shoulder blades slowly come back to the ground. So a concentric contraction on the way up for my serratus anterior and then an eccentric on the way back down. So with all these exercises, go for three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. With this one, just find the weight that's challenging for you, but really focus on learning this movement, the movement quality. You wanna have this dialed in before you go to the next ones. Okay, so that's our first exercise, a serratus punch with a dumbbell. For our second exercise, we're going to use a, an elevated surface like a table. Now we're going to go into a closed chain scapular protraction. So I'm basically going to be in sort of a high plank or the start of a push-up position. I'm going to just grab my elevated surface and get my body set up so that I'm in a straight line from my shoulders down to my feet, basically like the start of a push-up. Instead of doing like a regular kind of full push-up and bending my elbows, I'm going to set myself like I did in the first exercise where I keep my elbows straight, shoulders kind of down, and then I'm going to move through my shoulder blades. So again, I've got protraction, the concentric contraction of serratus anterior, and then an eccentric contraction where I let my shoulder blades come together. Try to really control that eccentric. Don't just let gravity pull you down. Okay, so you're just going up and down, trying to learn to move through your shoulder blades. Again, not by rounding your spine, not by bending your elbows. So just protraction and retraction of the shoulder blades. Okay, so that's an elevated scapular plus exercise. All right, so this is our last exercise for serratus anterior. This is going to be the most challenging one. We're going to be down on the ground on a flat surface. Gravity is going to be putting more uh, force on this muscle. So this is the last stage. This is the one you want to build up to. And I'll show, you can also just build this in with your push-ups. So what you're going to do here is just start out in regular push-up position. Even just holding here to start with, doing an isometric contraction like this is okay. But what we're going to do is take the movement from exercise two, basically work on going through scapular protraction and retraction. Kind of keep your chin tucked in a little bit. And again, just work on nice, smooth control of your shoulder blades. Again, this takes a little bit of practice. People have a hard time figuring out how to move the scapulothoracic joint, their shoulder blade, um, when this is new. So just work on trying to move through that joint. Don't let your low back arch, things like that. Try to keep your spine stable and move through your shoulder blades. And then what you can do once that gets easier is do just your normal push-up and then at the top of your push-up add a little plus movement. We call it a push-up with a plus. So just like that. 
But again, it's fine to just work it here like this too. Okay, so those are three exercises for serratus anterior and scapular winging. You're gonna have a dumbbell punch, an elevated uh, scapular plus exercise, and then a scapular plus exercise on the ground. And again, you can add it with the push-up. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments section, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.